Mike, 25-year-old Brendan Matos was found hiding in bushes on the property of Greystone Psychiatric Hospital early this morning, less than 12 hours after his father Nelson's car was found abandoned on a different part of the site. An investigation into that vehicle traced investigators back to the Matos house in Randolph, where they found a bullet hole in a window and Nelson Matos lying dead in a pool of blood. Morris County Prosecutor Robert Bianchi says everything came together quickly. I want to emphasize one thing. This investigation has been resolved within an eight hour period. Witness interviews, canvassing that's going on, as we would in any investigation. Bail was not announced for Brendan Matos, and it's still unclear what he will be charged with in connection with his father's death. The investigation is ongoing, and authorities are now seeking information about Brendan Matos's whereabouts during the day yesterday. The southern tip of our listening area lucked out. It's funny to say Morris County got off easy with only eight inches of accumulation, but that's what residents awoke to on Monday morning. Residents like Doug Gable of Denville. Pulled out the snowblower this morning, gets it up, made sure it was uh, going to run. Now the gusting winds made it difficult to judge snowfall totals. It's the first time I've ever seen snow form sharp edges on top of cars instead of a gradual blanket, and measurements totaled over a foot in some areas. But the wind blown precipitation meant cleaning off those cars was a breeze. Now, speaking of cuts and other than tax cuts, how disappointed are you in the, I believe it's $361 million in cuts that the governor made with his line item vetoes from the state budget? Uh, a lot of them programs and, and services that, uh, that I think were special to Democrats. Well, you know, obviously we were disappointed. You know, what we gave the governor was a budget that spent $62 million less than what he proposed. So our budget was actually spending less money than his. A defiant but reflective Chris Christie said he has to balance being in office with being a father and defended flying to see his son Andrew catch in a state playoff baseball game for Del Barton. You know what my son said to me afterwards? Afterwards he said to me, Dad, thanks for coming. He then fired back at those who criticized how he arrived and how he left. Another falsity that's been you know, uh, put forward in this story is that the game was stopped because I had to leave. There was a pitching change that happened at the same time I left. So for the uninitiated who don't understand baseball, when you change pitchers, the game must stop. The governor did set the record straight on several fronts, that his personal rides are of no cost to taxpayers, that his wife Mary Pat did not fly with him from Trenton to Montvale, and that he and the state GOP agreed to reimburse the money spent for baseball trips on Tuesday and last Friday. For the North Jersey News Center, I'm Patrick Lavery. From Wayne to Pompton Lakes to Patterson, the award-winning news center. 91 degrees under sunny skies. Good afternoon, I'm Patrick Lavery. Firefighters are on the scene of a working blaze in Wayne Township that broke out just after 11 a.m. this morning. And working his way to the scene as well is the news center's Mike Forte, who has this update from the road. The other big story of the day also began in Wayne this morning, where New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commissioner Ray Martinez welcomed customers to the reinstatement of Monday hours to MVC agency schedules. Monday hours are renewed at all motor vehicle agencies throughout the state. That's 39 offices. But that optimism was super soon tempered by a glitch at the state's Office of Information Technology, which has shut down all service to motor vehicle customers since mid-morning. As of the MVC's latest update at 12.15, service was still out. We caught up earlier via phone with spokesman Mike Horan. Unfortunately, in the late 8 o'clock hour, the state Office of Information Technology had some kind of a system error with their mainframe. The outage is reported, as he said, to be affecting other state agencies, but we are not sure at this time what specific problems it's causing outside of those agencies. Right now, the Dow Jones is down 149 points. The NASDAQ down 54. North Jersey News Center time is 105. Here's your News Center forecast brought to you by Jigs McAllister's Music Saloon. Mostly sunny and hot as we go through the rest of the afternoon. A high of 93 degrees. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. The low 72. And tomorrow on Tuesday, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms yet again. Some thunderstorms may produce gusty winds and small hail tomorrow afternoon hot and humid for the entire day the high tomorrow 97 currently 91 degrees under sunny skies from the north jersey news center with thanks to deborah and mike i'm patrick lavery and now with a check on north jersey traffic conditions let's check in with mike weinstein